I think for me what's important is to understand the entire island of Lanai sits within the humpback whale sanctuary. We're the only island that is encompassed totally by the sanctuary waters. What is our responsibility on Lanai to the sanctuary when our contribution at this point in time is sediment and erosion that's letting itself into the sanctuary waters and at the same time destroying our near shore reef areas? Ano ano ke ke no mau na le ke upu e po hae ku kai. Hello, my name is uh, Saul Kaho Ohalahala, and I'm uh, Kupa Aina, which is uh, a long time resident of the island of Lanai. Um, I'm seventh generation Lanaian, so this is home. The kinds of land use practices that we have engaged on the island of Lanai have become part of the decline of the island and its resources. And as a result of that, the sanctuary waters are going to be impacted by the fact that the island of Lanai is eroding, it's being denuded. So it becomes important to me to understand then if an island sits within the sanctuary and the idea is that we want to manage and protect the sanctuary and its ecosystems as well as uh, species that are threatened or endangered. The use and the land use part of our island plays an important role in trying to maintain the pristine conditions of our ocean. We have had uh, a ranching history of over 100 years that began in the 1850s. Uh, that ranching introduced to the island of Lanai cattle, sheep, goats, and then more recently we introduced deer to the island. The animals continue to denude the island of Lanai. So when um, this denuding is left unchecked and then heavy rain events come, what you'll see is that Mauna Lea will begin sending out um, sediment and, and erosion. You'll see that all of this loose dirt and all of this kind of, um, you know, runoff uh, with a heavy downpour can only go to this lowest point of the island and that means entering into the reef environment. This entire east shoreline area where the reef fringes are will be covered with red. The manner in which we care for our land is going to be the manner in which the ocean is going to reflect that. So if we're good about taking care and making sure that the island is uh, intact uh, and we're not uh, allowing uh, sedimentation and erosion to continue, then our ocean waters on the east shorelines within the sanctuary should be pristine and clean. If we fail to do that, then we can be assured that we'll be losing those environments that are important to us culturally as part of our uh, sustenance and, and our, our way of life. So in the chant, this is, Hano hano ke ike o Mauna Lea. Glorious to see is Mauna Lea. Hano hano ke ike no Mauna Lea. I'm hoping that our work with the sanctuary will help us to understand that we have much more responsibility than just looking at the sanctuary waters, but we have to understand its relationship to the land itself. We want to make that connection that's a cultural connection of Mauka to Makai. <laughs>